With the ongoing success of the MonsterVerse films and their plastic iterations by Hyatt Toys, Hyatt Toys has once again released another MonsterVerse figure, this time being a kaiju nobody asked for. The Skull Crawler, oh I'm sorry, the Skull Devil, here's from the film Kong Skull Island where the serpent-like white-faced antagonist is responsible behind the death of the titular main character's parents, but constantly fails to do the same to the protagonist. Wait, why does this sound so familiar? But do not be fooled for characters whom lack the pivotal to the plot convenience were to the Skull Devil, their school lunch, or comedic relief. So, let's take an observant look. When observing the titular head, it is obvious why the locals titled this monster as the Skull Crawler, as the white skull-like cranium with the lack of iron skin or tissue matter can mislead the average eyes into believing that this kaiju possesses exclusively a skull from its head. This isn't helped by the hollow holes situated at the middle of the skull alongside the minute eyes that makes even the eyes on MAPPA animators look wide open, but is brilliantly portrayed through the perfect driver able to render every nook and cranny in 4K resolution, as well as their petite eyes that while small is able to correctly identify a suicide bomber. And a familiar sight from the man that left the boy to fend for himself is by pulling both jaws do we see the inner mouth in its full glory. When looking into innards, they are overly detailed as well as being applied with a disgusting amount of pink, flesh-like paint job that while it may look disgusting to most eyes, to the Japanese is called sashimi. Asian stereotypes aside, you can't ignore those beautifully detailed teeth as not only are they separately colored, which seems to be an ever-increasing trend from Hyatt Toys lately, but are also perfectly aligned which unfortunately for the Skull Devil here attracts the jealous eyes of any Brit in the vicinity. And you know what happens when the British are fond of your stuff. But an impressive gimmick that Hyatt Toys implemented is that rather than the jaws being attached in which only the jaw moves down, the jaw is seen on the skull crawler with a slight move of the jaw opens up in both directions making for a serpent-like mouth that can enlarge to extreme proportions, resulting in a creature that can manhandle relatively weaker kaijus or harass underage minors. Moving to the torso, it is obvious that unlike the Giga Chad torso seen in both Kong and Godzilla, the Skull Devil here is more or less a skinny boy, which fully explains why skull crawlers pick on miniatures and miners, but when faced against the upper echelons, is literally a slaughterhouse. But a sure highlight that the torso possesses that continues to the rest of the body is the semi-exposed vertebrae that retains each lump in shape for each bone, perfectly portraying the Skull Devil fondness to the insane levels of Korean beauty standards from 5 years ago. This is contrasted with the olive green under belly that lacks the skeletal structure and is instead filled with the soft and rubbery skin. Moving to the arms, there are your skinny, muscular arms that is strong enough to support the movements that the skull crawler is able to pull off, as shown through the shoulders, biceps, and triceps. This is in addition to the lower calf in which the application of the white dry brushing on the crevices alongside the horn located at the elbows that, while maybe effective in close range, hasn't been seen being used once. And the feet are also a unique pair as they were designed to support the skull crawler's weight which explains the enlarged size alongside the crooked toes that seems to be akin to those of your average football oh I'm sorry soccer player. And the tail has an extensive length that surpasses even the likes of the Big G and culminates in a Stegosaurus style spike filled end that would be an effective melee weapon at mid range but hasn't been seen being used once. But a unique point regarding the tail is that unlike the Big G or Ghidorah whose tails are composed of ball joints, the Skull Devil here possesses a tail that is composed of a bendy wire which not only removes the separated pots and crevices found in ball joint connected tails but also provides dynamic movement. When observing the accessory assortment that is accompanied by the Skull Devil, What happened? Did your, your balls drop off? But considering the great quality and that price, fully acceptable, unlike a particular brand. When look at how massive the Skull Devil stands among its peers, on its legs the Skull Devil scales at 15 centimeters or 5.9 inches long, making the Skull Devil massive against dead franchise heroes, but a midget next to your kaijus and mechs. Here's the Skull Devil next to Gumpla, Bigger Mechs, SH Figuarts, Figma, Kong, Godzilla, 
and Ghidorah. When looking at the previous iterations of the Kaiju roster that Hyatt Toys pulled off, they were more or less rigid and made the monsters look like a Figma figure. But that is no longer the case, as this time around, Hyatt Toys was successful in making a figure that could replicate the range previously portrayed in the monsters, as portrayed through the numerous joints placed throughout the body alongside an extensive bendy wire at a particular spot. The head, thanks to the ball joint, is able to pull off a free range of movements. The neck is also able to support the head movement due to the ball joints. The body and waist, supported by the various ball joints, is able to pull off the stomach crouch. The shoulders, connected by ratchet joints, aid in the skull devil pulling off the execution stance. The elbows can bend over 90 degrees. Great feet movement and a tail has been composed of a bendy wire that, while rigid at first, becomes ever more elastic as time passes, allowing the Skull Devil to possess a truly dynamic tail. So, what is there left to say? The Hyatt Toy Skull Devil is surely a surprise and a great start to the year as a while a figure that had low expectations at first, came out admiring and at the end as portrayed through the immaculate levels of details embedded onto the skull, the impressive size, the high levels of posability that rival even the monsters and the new gimmicks added. The only gripe I have is none. With that said, I would highly recommend the Skull Double here and give it a ranking of an A+.